Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in from. Hello and welcome to Glam O'Clock on YouTube. And if you have not joined Glam O'Clock on Discord, it's free to do so. Go check us out. We're building a new community there. Lots of great channels of discussion. So go to your app store, wherever it is that you download your apps and check out um, Discord Glam O'Clock. This video, I'm just quickly getting ready for work, but I did want to show you a purchase that I made yesterday and I've already unboxed it. Um, be thankful you didn't have to sit through it because it was kind of tough getting some of the stuff out of its packaging and not all of it were hits. Um, so I have a bit of buyer's remorse. I've been waiting for um, holiday bundles, advent calendars and stuff to go on sale at my local, my favorite shoppers mart actually. There are several within like 10 or 15 minutes drive from my house, but I have a favorite. Anyway, I bought this bundle yesterday. Originally, the deal was like spend $85 in Lancome products and then you could buy this thing for $125. And I really liked the eyeshadow palette. I liked um, kind of the full size serum and the other couple of skincare products that came with it. The eyelash um, primer was a big draw for me and the toner over here because I'm a big fan of toner so it looked like you know and I knew that the cologne which is like hanging out here in this corner would probably be a miss because I'm pretty sensitive and it is it's like this I mean I am a grandfluencer it's for sure I fit the demographic of being a grandfluencer but I am not a granny perfume user <laughs> that isn't he, I'm not even going to give that to someone. It's so strong. Like you can't get rid of the scent and it's not pleasant. And then it came in this cute bag, which I like. I really like the size of this. You could actually almost fit a laptop, although you couldn't, but iPads, I'm thinking like electronics because it has like a little bit of like a, like a padding cushiony sort of vibe to it. So I like the bag. Um, I don't know if it was worth the hundred hundred bucks in tax, but um, let's give a few of the products a try. I did use the toner last night before I went to bed, and I really like it because it's milky. I don't know. You can see through the bottle. You can't. I couldn't tell um, when I first opened it. It wasn't until I got it on my cotton swab that I realized it was very much like my um, my Fenty. My Fenty Fat Water, sort of milky, only instead of being like an oatmeal color of sorts, it's like a pink. And I, like, like this is the kind of, Glow Recipe is a little bit runnier than this. Their toner, their watermelon toner, um, this, this is really nice. It says on the bottle that it's supposed to be hydrating, so... These milkier sort of toners, I think, fall in the um, in the more hydrating family. And I sometimes use my Caudalie, which is a little bit more of a pop of alcohol-based. Um, this wakes my face right up. These milky sort of hydrating toners, I don't think necessarily wake my face right up, but I do think that they help brighten it a little bit. So let's just let that sit there because I am in a hurry so it can't sit forever, but it has like a nice glow to it. And um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It also came with this makeup remover, which I have not tried yet. Um, but I, you can't really go wrong with makeup <laughs> remover. They're great to have around. Um, this is the serum here. This, the packaging looks like it's got, it's like a dop. It's a like a what do you call it a eyedropper not really an eyedropper but it's one of these where you push here oh yeah looky there it's a little bit clear um it's not milky which I kind of tend to like the more milkier I like my Caudalie and I like my Charlotte Tilbury um serums which fall on the milkier side even my glow recipe serums tend to be a bit milkier um but two drops is honestly all you need I'm trying not to get my shirt i'm trying not i'm trying to not neglect my neck although i guess i don't think i was um planned this outfit correctly because this is a rather 
high neck shirt. Yeah, I still have tons left on my hand, which I'm just going to rub in because I don't want to lose the product. So let's let that goodness I rub into my hands as well. I did not study the back of the bottle, but it feels to me like my skin is loving the ingredients. Um, came with two different kinds of creams. This cream here looks like it's on some, it looks almost like a mask to me. And a lot of the, the stuff on the back of the box is in French. So I haven't gotten a chance to, uh, to research it, but this is not a texture. This is either a night cream or some sort of mask. And then it has this, um, this cream right here, which is sort of a lot more luxe. I used it last night before I went to bed. It's like oat in color and it feels so nice on the skin. It, I don't, I'm hoping that it doesn't pill with anything that I'm going to use today. I'm almost even feeling like I don't need any sort of primer, although I am going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow just to get like a little tiny bit of color. Um, but I think that you could use this cream and serum and toner together and you wouldn't necessarily need a primer at all. I'm going to use my, um, my, uh, I'm going to use my Clinique All About Eyes to get underneath my eyes a little bit. I really like this formula. It's very thin, perfect for these delicate parts of our eyes. I can't do much because I am really in a hurry today. But instead of using my NARS Under Eye Brightener Cream, which I have used in several videos, I've pulled out my Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener in the shade 01, which I think is called Rose Quartz. So that little bit of rose tint in it is great. Um, is a great smoothing agent um, to help with discoloration and just smoothing out skin texture. So these are great. If you haven't tried Fenty's um, brighteners yet. I also have it in ivory, I think, but the rose is definitely better. I bought the ivory first and um, it wasn't a miss, but I realized that, um, I realized that this, this rose ivory is better. It even, this is pretty much the exact same shade that the, my, my NARS Night Swan is very close very close i'm gonna i chose a bit of a fatter brush than i would than i normally put this on with and it's a little bit fluffier because i wanted to quickly get my lids covered so that i could try the um the eyeshadow palette that came with the lancome set um yeah i think i do have a little bit of buyer's remorse but um I have it. Oh, I wanted to talk about e.l.f. Huh? Shocker. I got a notification from them yesterday that for their Icon members, they were just doing like this early release and they are, they dropped more of their, um, their Jelly Pop Dew Primer and they were releasing it to uh, Icon members and on like the last time they did it, it did not immediately sell out. I don't know if that's because they're doing it post holidays and consumers are just shocked out or if they listened to the reviews where people just said like, hey, like if you're going to release one of your most popular um, products, then why don't you just, you know, have a lot in stock? I ended up having to get mine off eBay last time they released it which was very frustrating. I was one of those sort of frustrated reviews. Um, I actually didn't see any influencers when I was watching my reels last night talk about that release. The last time that they did drop it, there were a few influencers that, that talked about it. So everybody was waiting 
on the e.l.f. website, which totally crashed um, when they dropped it several, several months ago. So, um, yeah, I was happy to get some and I bought a few. So those are going to be giveaways. When that e.l.f. comes, I am going to do a Jelly Pop giveaway video. Um, so I don't know if you've tried it yet or if you're like me the first time around, couldn't get it and you were, were not like me and desperate enough to go on eBay to get it. But yeah, I got like, I got like four. So I'm going to just, and they're so easy. They're super light. Pop them in a padded envelope, send them out to my Discord community. That's going to be a Discord giveaway. So if you haven't figured out how to join Glam O'Clock on Discord, you know, I go ahead and give it a try. Join us there. It's where I can give away the fantastic glam little care packages. Nothing super fancy, but it's still, you know, having like a personal shopper send you something. Maybe you'll get something that you wouldn't have necessarily purchased for yourself, like P. Louise, which comes all the way from England. And you know, I'm, I'm not speaking of coming from over, over the ocean. I have to say that for my giveaways, I think from, from here on forward, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to keep those within the U S and Canada, maybe, maybe some parts of Europe. And the reason is because I can't track, um, the, the boxes to many countries in the world. Um, so I want to make sure people get their stuff, especially since I'm paying for the postage. And if I can't track the box and we have no idea whether it's going to get to you, it really doesn't do any of us any favors. So, um, do try and, um, you know, if I can track, if you're in a country where I can track the, um, the box, then yeah, we can give it a try, but otherwise, um, I might have to just say, I'm so sorry. It's just for our, both of our sakes. I have to be able to track the boxes so that we know if you get them. It's a precious product in there. Yeah. This is an eyelash primer that came with the Lancome set. So I'm going to use it. It's again, another reason why I bought the Lancome. I really wanted, I love myself a good lash primer and the, the cosmetic um, rep said that the um, that the mascara was uh, for this particular um, brand Lancome. I don't own a Lancome mascara. Was is really good. I don't know. There's the wand. To me, most of these wands are all the same. They all claim to do this and that and the other thing. I did buy. I don't know why, but when I bought the Jelly Pop, um, when I bought the Jelly Pop primers yesterday from e.l.f., I included um, a brown and a black mascara because e.l.f. just dropped, they dropped their new, they dropped some hydrating CC cream, which I already know I don't like. I didn't like the previous formula, so chances are I'm not going to like this one. It's $15, and I think that that's a lot just to like know that you're probably not going to like it and then how am I going to give it away after I use it so yeah but I did think all right the mascaras were seven dollars which are cheap enough to give a try um maybe I'll totally love them I'm not saying that I don't like Elf's mascaras that I've had in the past it's just um I'm pretty particular to quite uh to more of a super skinny wand so um yeah we'll see gonna go down now with that Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I just put a very, very light touch of my Laguna Light bronzer in a few of my contour areas just to get it to start building um, that bit of color because I just want to not be completely washed out on this cold winter day. <laughs> Um, so I've been putting my, my contour, my, my bronzer, creamy bronzer down, um, pretty early on in the skincare routine. 
and then going over it it's like I said it's just part of the build so I don't know I think I'm still having like a nice glow I think I'm getting that um the look I'm going for which is just you know like evening evening out my why can't I say balance it evening evening out taking an evening out no I'm evening out my skin tone trying to blend into some of the natural discoloration that my skin already has and just like brightening these critical areas of our face under eyes um, that tend to as we age get kind of darker so here this is the palette that came with the Lancome I'm just gonna take a super fluffy brush and do a dusting. Um, I kind of liked this color and that color. There's several colors in here I like. Um, maybe I'll just go for this and see. I'm just dusting. I feel like that um, got some, that's a little bit shimmery, but I'm gonna have to work with it because I chose it. <laughs> just to get a little I can actually tone that down I think with um with my powder contour here I was looking for my wet and wild which I just had to repurchase because my other one the top broke off but I was already pretty well through it so not that big of a loss but I was kind of bummed these are cheap enough I love this palette I've, I've bought this palette from wet and wild as a gift before for um, family members because I just I, I tend to run my my angled brush right down the middle of this thing and that's what I grab and put on so just hitting all of the areas I'm not going too heavy I can't I don't even know if you can tell on camera <laughs> that I have any makeup on I just used my e.l.f. Um, lip balm this morning. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Creamy creamy Blush. I think this is in the shade ColourPop. Uh, I love this shade. Here, it's going to hit like the high points of my cheek. Rub that in a little bit. Maybe like tip of my nose run that across my lashes just trying to get this like sort of uniform pop of the same color can this goes on your this can go on your lips too so this is an all over lips cheeks I don't think it's necessarily marketed for your lids but I pop it up there as well get it in this area kind of going over my bridge there blend it with my hands all over. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury compact airbrush and just kind of go under. I like to use this size brush when I go under my eyes because I feel like doesn't that just look like it is a good match? I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to use this brush for but I like to use it in my eyes like I can press right in there and around and I can go down my T-zone. I don't know, I like it. I'm just trying to look for places that might have like too much shine, which I had such a light hand today. I don't think there's a heck of a lot going on. Let's use a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Varnish. This is my favorite thing. It's a two-in-one brightener concealer to use in my lip contour area and around my nose and just like right there at the tip, top of my cheeks. Sometimes I drag it down the center of my nose for that little bit of brightness. I am a big fan, like if there was something that um, if I had to whittle my kit down to, I don't know, 10 items, this would for sure go in. If I had to whittle it down to five items, this would also for sure go in. I really like this product. I am going to sign off now. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day and um, 
I'm going to say one more time, we hope to see you again on Glam O'Clock YouTube and on Glam O'Clock on Discord. Follow any of the invitation links in my videos and we will see you there. Have a great one.